Hi there, my name is Jeannie. Welcome to my Child Free Life. Today I want to talk about my tattoos. I'm going to rate them from most painful to least painful. And eventually I'm going to do like price breakdowns and stuff like that if anyone's interested. I live in New York City, so I obtained all of these tattoos from either Manhattan or Brooklyn in the year 2022. This year I'm trying to only get one tattoo and I have an appointment next month. It's going to be in Philly, so I'm super excited. So the most painful by far is my, my melody as a witch. I usually have a high tolerance for pain but for some reason with this one well first of all it's just it's bigger all of my other ones lack a little bit of detail like every artist has their own method of creating their work so some of them are going to be have more shading and more details so it's obviously going to take more time but this was my first large piece obviously that's subjective but compared to the other ones you're going to see this is the largest piece that i have and it's also the most expensive and also took the longest that's because she included breaks in between the outline the shading and then the coloring which i really did appreciate because it was painful it was so painful i really thought having like some chunky arms was going to help save me and it was not going to be that painful but it was this was the most painful it was also my favorite it's so beautiful i absolutely love how it looks and i really wish i could have gotten her karomi one because she had a matching one that would have been nice here but i have I already have a tattoo here which we're going to talk about later but i think it's beautiful i really don't have meanings for any of my tattoos you're going to see it's just stuff that i like stuff that i think is cute and that's it I, I love sanrio i love all of hello kitty's friends i love animal crossing i love pokemon and i love neopets so eventually that's all going to get incorporated into my tattoos for now we really have only sanrio and then an animal crossing one so this is my most painful and my second most painful is from the same artist and it's right here this was in brooklyn both of these were in brooklyn this one is cinema roll as a ghost um she did offer to make it smaller um, she just had a bunch of sizes. I really should have chosen a smaller one, but it was filling in this gap So then I was like, let me let me just get it This one was the second most painful but definitely much more bearable than this one because it is smaller It doesn't kind of I mean it does look like it. Yeah, this one's bigger because of the outer decorations This one I had a really bad headache when I got this and like this dull headache Sometimes that happens to me where something goes wrong every time I'm getting tattoos from this artist not with the experience itself but the lead up to it like my day events prior to arriving first of all it's always raining when i go there and i just had a bad headache i forgot what it was like i didn't eat enough i live like an hour and a half from brooklyn or manhattan so i normally will eat a, try to eat a heavy lunch and then get a snack to eat right before when i get to the to the place In this case i forgot what happened i think something went wrong with my lunch and it wasn't good and i didn't have time to get something else so i think i had like a granola bar in my in my book bag and I took a couple bites of it but my head was hurting like I had a bunch of water but I find like my best experience with tattoos was when I either ate Chipotle beforehand because I love Chipotle or when I had like a coke and a granola bar as the snack leading up to it obviously I try to have a full meal I find that that really helps with how I react to the pain because some of these were super like almost painless for me I would say these are like adult stinging but because the 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 tattoo is so long like before because it never ends that's when it hurts the majority of my tattoos were done under an hour so this is the first time that i had to sit there for like two or three hours the earlier it was the the least painful and the longer it gets the more of a dull pain it is that becomes harder for me to ignore and i start fidgeting or i think i'm fidgeting and because i think i'm fidgeting then i start to fidget even more because i'm paranoid that i'm not keeping still no one has ever said anything to me and obviously i don't want to fidget because i don't want to hinder what's going on here but this one was second most painful but it was a much shorter time period than this one and i really like it i think it's super cute i just love the colors i love these two they're my favorite then for my third most painful it would have to be this one this was my first time getting a shoulder tattoo and because of the way the placement like i had to sit up for this and the chair was not comfortable i got this at live by the sword which is a very popular place there's one in soho and one in brooklyn where they have like flash tattoos for 50 dollars and a bunch of artists that are just there and ready if you go in there asking for something there's there's always someone there for piercings for tattoos stuff like that all those experiences can be hit or miss so i always try to read reviews for the particular artist that i'm getting but sometimes if you're going there without an appointment you're just going to get whoever's available so at the time this was my most painful because so so sitting up on a hard chair was not comfortable but then compared to this this was a walk in the park this was not so bad again under an hour very cute it kind of lacks some shading and i feel like i could get a retouch on this just because yellow and orange doesn't hold well like that pigment doesn't hold well on my body and it also kind of blends in with my skin tone sometimes honestly super cute super beautiful it, it was just painful towards the end of like sitting up for so long trying to sit up straight 
and you're in a room with a bunch of other people getting tattoos like it was a very small location it's the Brooklyn one so there's a bunch of rooms with a bunch of chairs and a lot of the chairs in my room were filled up and the artists were having a funny conversation and I was trying not to laugh and not to shake but like they were just they were hilarious but yeah this was probably my third most painful but definitely nothing compared to these two this was my first Sanrio tattoo and I really love it and I still do I think it's very cute I always forget it's there but I really just like the shoulder placement of like having tattoos there. And we have my fourth one. At this point, this is just line art. So it was super fast and super easy. I will say for some reason when this particular tattoo artist does it, I feel like I can feel like a dragging motion. So or these are just like painful little stabs that are like dull. This is like light stinging but i feel like she drags it and I, she might not be i i just can't see what she's looking at i never look at my artists as they do it on me but i am laying down for these and that makes it much more comfortable she did retouch it recently i really like it so it's a cinema roll but just normal the only issue that i'm i'm having now is that these are like more minimalistic obviously it's just line art with a little bit of pink but or is that red that's red i just feel like next to like the super saturated ones it, it does look kind of funny but these i got before i got these so because i wanted my melody and i wanted cinema roll kind of like opposites of each other like right there again my chunky arms i thought it was going to be a little bit more painless and it was actually not bad at all it's just that dragging motion with this particular artist that i feel um and it could all be in my head but i was laying down for this so it was much more of a comfortable experience and then my melody same thing i got my melody more recently she could probably do with a touch up some of the pink has faded but i just i love it It was even quicker than the other one just a slight dragging motion but other than that the pain level was not too bad and it was also under an hour and right before she did this that's when she retouched this one my least painful tattoo was my very first tattoo and that is of animal crossing this is jack from animal crossing but a lot of people don't recognize them when they see this a lot of people think that this tattoo is not real like it kind of looks like the stick on ones this is 1.5 inches this was probably just as expensive as this one this was 350 or maybe with a deposit this was 450 originally i don't know i'm gonna do a for full price breakdowns when i do individual videos for these tattoos but the animal crossing one was 350 for a 1.5 tattoo this is a very popular artist and she has like wait lists and stuff so i was like let me go for it it was my first tattoo i knew that this placement was going to be a little bit weird and possibly impact the rest of what i can put on this arm i knew going into it that that was going to be the case but honestly i still really like it jack's holding a little lollipop there's a little bit of a gray eventually i'll go in for a touch-up but this was painless this was absolutely painless maybe like the slightest sting but there was something so fast about it i was really like oh my gosh you're done already like it was so fast i'm really grateful for that because it's my first tattoo and i feel like if it had been if this would have been my first one i probably would have like waited a little bit longer before getting others but but jack was painless it was a good experience i had just had a bowl of chipotle the only thing is like i'm never i'm either too early or kind of almost on the verge of running late and that that bothers me i hate being late to appointments it like freaks me out so i remember i was eating my bowl of chipotle and <laughs> i realized that my tattoo point was actually at 3 30 and not at 4 so i had to finish that chipotle bowl really quick and then run over there but because i had the chipotle and i had a soda it was fine the only issue is that this was in the dead of summer like it was so hot at this time we were having a heat wave so um the healing process like i had to be very careful to not expose it but i also couldn't wear a sweater like it was just so freaking hot outside and i had to work i work in the daytime so that was like an issue was just trying to make sure it healed properly same thing with this one it, this was like dead of summer and i definitely ended up getting a tan on this unintentionally while i was out by the pier because that sun was just hitting me like crazy and it was still healing so i couldn't put sunscreen on it yet and this was a mess so that might also have to do with why it faded a little bit faster but the animal crossing one painless amazing it was a great experience i love the tattoo artist she's very expensive for the sizing like i wanted a two inch one i was gonna try to be 550 and it was a design that i didn't really really love but i was like oh if it's only 350 i'll do it I didn't say that to her i was taking that in my head because it's a half inch more she was charging more for it and every artist has their rates and stuff like that which is why i want to do individual videos for these and kind of break that down i love hearing about the pricing of tattoos just because people have obviously varying opinions on what is worth something and what isn't but because i go to cutesy tattoo artists who like do that cutesy that kawaii aesthetic i I do tend to pay a little bit more than the average location which i don't really mind if it means getting the tattoo of my dreams and being able to see examples for things that i really like you know what i'm saying like similar art styles that's kind of how i found all of these tattoo artists i found them through instagram but that's a video for another day those are my tattoos rated for most painful to least painful if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it and until next time <music>